In the last tutorial, we looked at how to import clips into a Premiere Pro project. In this tutorial, we're going to look at editing clips, the next step in, in doing a project within Premiere Pro. There's actually two ways to edit clips. I'm going to go over one of those ways, and the next tutorial will go over the other way. The two ways are through the source monitor, which is this area on the screen right here. The second or the other way is through the timeline. I'm going to show you how to edit clips through the timeline first and then in the next tutorial we'll look at how to edit clips in the source monitor. My preferred method is actually the source monitor but I have found if you're doing something really kind of quick and dirty, you want to get something together really fast, you can import your clips, throw those clips down here into the timeline, do some quick editing and export it out. So to bring the clip from our project panel to the timeline, there's the way I do is let's say I'm going to bring in I don't know we have this fireboat clip I'm going to just click on that and I'm clicking on the actual icon for that clip and dragging it down into the timeline this is going to be a fairly straightforward project we're just going to have maybe three clips following each other so that's the first clip let's say the next clip is going to be this kayaking clip click and drag that down into the timeline and I'm dragging it right up against the uh, end of the previous one and then the last one we'll bring down is a fireworks clip. By the way, these clips are from uh, a website called footagefirm.com, um, but it's a great, great place to get some, get some good clips. All right, so now, now I have those three clips done in the timeline. You'll notice the first two clips only have the video, and the th and the third clip has audio with with the clip. And in the next in the next tutorial where I show how to do editing in the source monitor I'll also show how to bring down just just the video versus the video and the audio. Alright so we, we decided we're going to have three clips in this project one right after the other and as I scrub through here uh, you can see those different clips. Notice when I scrubbed through there we were getting the sound especially of this glass clip where there's a bunch of fireworks going off. Let me show you really quickly how to turn that off if you don't want it if you don't want to hear this sound while you're scrubbing. That is a setting underneath Edit Preferences. Go to Audio. So it's Edit Preferences Audio. There's a, there's a setting on this audio panel. It's a checkbox, Play Audio While Scrubbing. That is turned on. I'm going to just click on that to turn that off. And click OK to get out of that. And now as I scrub across here, I won't hear that. Actually, when I'm working on a clip, I like to hear this sound. But when I'm recording this, I will interfere with what I'm saying, so we'll just turn that off. Okay, some really quick tips on how to do editing in the timeline. When I take my mouse and scroll over a clip, nothing seemingly happens here. There is one little instance where something does happen. When I'm over that yellow line, my cursor adds a uh, up and down arrow. We'll talk more about that little yellow line in a future in a future tutorial. But if I'm going to do some 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 quick editing here, let's say as I scrub across the fireboat maybe towards towards the end there, maybe want to cut that a little bit shorter than going all the way to the end of the uh, current clip. One way to do that is if I scrub over with my mouse between what we call an edit point, an edit point is the point between two clips, my cursor changes. If I'm to just to the left of the edit point, I have a cursor with a uh, right closing bracket. If I'm to the right of that edit point, I get a left opening bracket. That's significant whether it's a left or right bracket because that tells us what it's going to what it's going to change if I was to click and drag at this point. If I want to take off a little bit of the end of the first clip, I'm going to take my cursor or my mouse right over the uh, the edit point just to the left of it, so I have the right closing bracket. Just click and drag to the left. As I drag to the left, I notice a couple of things up in my program monitor, which is up in the top right of my screen. I see a, a time code stamp. It's showing me the new length of this clip. And right beside my cursor down in the timeline, I see this little tooltip that's indicating to me how many, how much it is, is removing from the end of the clip. Right now I'm at 15 frames. Continue to go to the left, 27 frames. There is a second and six frames, etc. So we'll just take it off. I, I kind of like to watch my program monitor as I as I do this, so I can kind of determine how far back I want to go. Maybe maybe right right in there. Okay. 
When I do that though with just the, uh, the normal tool, which was the selection tool, it leaves a gap here. A quick way to get rid of that gap is to right click right on that gap and choose ripple delete and it closes that gap. Not only does it close that gap, but it also brings everything to the right of that, including any subsequent clips down the timeline. Shifts everything over to the left. Very, very handy. Let me show you another tool, though, that we can use to do the same thing that will take care of that last step, so we don't have to do, do that step where we do a ripple delete. There's a tool up here in our toolbar. The tools are right underneath the main menu. One of the tools here is a, a ripple edit tool. It's the double arrow tool with a vertical line on. I'm going to choose that tool. With this tool, when I come down to the timeline, if I'm over a clip, anywhere on the clip, it, it it's, seems like it can't do anything, which in fact it can't do anything because it's grayed out. However, when I get over an edit point, that tool comes alive. And then notice very similar type of icon that we saw with the selection tool when I'm over an edit point. I get the left and right brackets. Let's say on the second clip, let me just kind of scrub across here. Let's say we want to actually start that clip right in here. So with my ripple edit tool, I want to take remove some of the front end of that clip. So when I'm over the edit point, actually just to the right of that edit point, I have the uh, left bracket. I'm going to click and my CTI, which is that red vertical line, my current time indicator, is actually where I want to clip it to, so I'm going to just click and drag it to that point. Now, before I release my mouse, couple things are going, several things are going on actually. Up in the control panel, I'm sorry, up in the program monitor, the top right of our desktop, we see two images. The image on the left is the out point of the clip on the left, which is the first clip in this project. The image on the right, that's actually the one that changes as I move my mouse back and forth. That's showing us the new endpoint of the second clip. And down by our cursor, we see a little tooltip popping up indicating how much time we are removing from the front of this clip. So when that snaps to my CTI, I'm going to release my mouse. And now the new end, new end point is actually that point that was indicated in the uh, right thumbnail of those two clips that we're showing up here. What happens there when I did the uh, when I trimmed the front end of that, because I was using a ripple edit tool, it took care of that gap that would have been between those two clips. We'll notice the same thing at the back end of this clip. Let's say I want to go maybe just right to there on this on this kayaking clip. The ripple edit tool, go over to the, to the uh, edit point, click when I have the right closing bracket and drag it to the left to remove that end of the clip. Now everything will shift to the left because I'm using the Ripple Edit tool. The Ripple Edit tool saves you that one extra step of having to click in the now empty area and choose Ripple Delete. And I can do the same thing with this last clip. Just keep it kind of simple. Towards the end here, say I want to finish this clip with that flash right there. So I'll take my Ripple Edit tool. Actually, the Ripple Edit tool won't help us in any way at this point. I could also just use the Selection tool. Click and drag to the right till it snaps to my CTI. And now that clip ends right at that point. Okay, so that's a quick way to do some, some very quick editing via the timeline. Drag your clips down to the timeline in the, in the sequence that you want them, and then just use your selection tool and or your ripple edit tool and click and drag to remove the front end or the back end of those clips. Now what we, actually we could, but um, I, what I was going to say, you, you can't remove middle sections of clips. Actually, there is a way to do that, but um, we'll cover that more. We'll cover that in a tutorial later on. All right. Have fun.